Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for 11-4. So it's November 4th. This is for whoever, not everybody. We'll see. We'll see if it resonates with you. Great. If it doesn't, so be it. I was hemming and hawing about which deck to use, and I decided to go with one of my favorites. Just because I just, I don't know why, I just want things to be at ease, so we'll see what's going on here. Oh, somebody's been restricted. Fear of the unknown. undecided. Which path should I take? <laughs> it's funny, I was hemming and hawing. Makes sense. Somebody is hemming and hawing. Which path should I take? Which option should I choose? In regards to love? Where does your heart lie? What does your heart want? Who would you like to hear from? Somebody lacks confidence. Mmm. There's options, huh? There is. There's absolutely options. Ooh. Yikes. So we have somebody that is detaching emotionally. Unable to master their emotions at this time. In regards to which path to take. It's clear. It's clear. Trying to get unstuck. Been sacrificing themselves for quite some time. Needing to see something through a new perspective. Refusing to for quite some time. But perhaps now it can't be ignored anymore. Oh, yep, somebody's been holding on to an empty, dead-end situation. They had been holding on to it. Maybe they still are holding on to it, and it's getting old. It's time to release, right, with that death card reversed. It's a time of transition, but because of the fear of the unknown, fear of... Huh, what if I take that wrong path? They've been stuck. Okay, I've been stuck. There's that lack of confidence, lack of self-esteem. You also could have been dealing with somebody who didn't have any ambition. Just saying. Debbie Downer. Okay, so we have Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Scorpio, Pisces. So we, we have uh, water here pretty prominently, water sign. Um, it could be anybody that you're involved with. Let me make sure this is focused in. Something has been stalled, delayed. Now we have cancer. So there's there's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here pretty prominently. But anyway, something has been delayed because somebody did, wasn't able to master their emotions and face opposition. 
unable to take the lead, restricting themselves because they weren't strong enough to do so. Or they aren't strong enough to do so. Scared of the unknown. Scared to take that, that path. Unable to make a choice because of fear, right? Maybe they couldn't make a choice because they were going through a period of enlightenment right now and you need to go through that to make the right choice, right? But whatever is happening, it is in regards to love. And somebody is looking for more and you could receive a message an offer that is very welcoming, exciting. We have somebody that is, is about to make an offer and they've stalled. They have stalled because they have been unable to get out of their head. But it looks like now they are finding the confidence and the faith to believe, believe in something. Perhaps their inner guide has been speaking to them with the Hierophant card. The Hierophant card is your inner guide talking to you. It's also, the Hierophant is also a teacher. So somebody has learned something through their own awareness, you know what I mean? Their own, you're going to see these. Somebody has been holding back. Somebody has been retreating. Okay, they've been not making a decision and staying put where they're at so that they could listen, so that they could become aware so that they could become enlightened so that they could evolve so that they could get the right answer you know what I mean somebody had to go through this place of being stuck which they really in people can say that they were being stuck but this was a much needed time to be stuck you know this person needed to be in this spot to be enlightened. So now it feels as though they're about to take a risk. They're about to take a leap of faith. And here we have faith. They've become, they've finally come, become enlightened. But it's taken quite some time. This person probably was back and forth multiple times with their decision. Very indecisive. Both of these cards. Somebody went through a period, uh, like almost like a roller coaster ride. I want this. No, I don't. I do. Nope, I don't. I think I want this. I know what I want. I know this is what I want. Nope, I can't. I can't go down that road. But my heart really wants this. My heart really wants this, but I fear that if I go down this road, I might have to get in a commitment, fear of commitment. This is the Taurus. This is Hierophant. This is commitment, marriage. This is what this person wants. So somebody may be in, you know, this is the master of non-attachment and they're mirroring each other. It is the master of non-attachment. But it's funny. It really is funny. They're mirroring each other. 
now it's like if I go down this path I may have to commit I will have to commit so anyway there's fear of commitment here there is definitely fear of commitment fear of attachment and I think that so that's opposition right So anyway, <laughs> it looks as though somebody is finding their confidence. To bring balance and harmony back to their life. Because sixes are about balance and harmony. To find the victory and success that they've been lacking. This person, whoever it is, has been dealing with some people that are bitter and angry and upset, don't communicate well. There's been really poor communication here. <laughs> bad. Real bad. And they may be, they may fear, because there's fear here, they may fear that if they open up and go down that path and face their fears that they will get hurt because they could be dealing with somebody who is very pissed off that there was another person involved even. So I feel as though we have somebody here that is probably wanting to reopen a door that's been closed, but they're scared of, one, they're scared of commitment, or they were scared of commitment. Now they want a commitment. They want to make an offer. But they're really worried about whiplash, <laughs> you know? It's like, I don't dare. I don't dare. I wouldn't dare either if you were dealing with these two women in reverse. I mean, if this is one woman that's putting on, you know, taking on these energies, somebody is not happy about what happened. Not happy. I'm not happy at all. So it looks to me like we have somebody here that is afraid to offer a new beginning, but in their heart, that's what they want to do. And, you know, they need to find the strength to do so. And it looks like right now it still may be delayed because of that fear. Somebody may still be holding on to a person that lacks no vision, lacks no ambition, lacks no drive. I mean, I don't know if that's the case, but holding on to something or somebody that lacks no <laughs> ambition okay this person lacks no get up and go Let me get some more cards here. There is definitely a message coming in. Somebody is, is wanting to grow a relationship, but there's a lot of fear. There is definitely a lot. Of, and there's fear. It's really a big fear of commitment. It really is. 
but this person is making progress in the direction that they need to go, but they're really afraid of, like I said, whiplash, you know, I don't know what is going to happen, I'm going to be, you know, uh, this person is really mad at me, and you're probably right about that. Um, yeah, but it looks like they're going to head anyway. They're probably going to find the courage. Remember I said they're going to find the strength. They're probably going to find the courage to, the courage and the confidence to go after their wish fulfillment. There's an opportunity for extreme happiness with this star card, but you got to have faith. These are both cards of faith. And this is also a card of, you know, this is a blessing. This is a miracle. This is something sent from heaven. A gift. Somebody is going to go towards what they want, what their heart wants. They're going to go after their wish fulfillment. They're going to do it. They're going to find the courage to do it. Because it looks like they... They still, they still have faith that this, this will work out. They're making that decision to do so. So the decision has been made. So the decision is going to be made. There's a, there's a woman here that is really, really, really upset. Okay? We do. We have a woman here that is really upset. She feels like she has been stabbed. She feels like she doesn't deserve love. She feels like She's not good enough. She lacks self-esteem, self-worth. She's bitter and resentful. Because somebody rejected her offer. And she's probably detached herself at this point. And it's going to take a lot of effort for this man to restore her faith. To re this is faith, and this is faith, but this is faith and trust. There's, a, there's, some, there's somebody that is going to need to put in a lot of effort to restore this woman's faith and trust. He's going to need a lot of stamina to do that. Because there's been some lies. There's been some dishonesty here. We have a woman that's been hurt very, very, very badly. And she doesn't trust. But there's an opportunity for somebody, two people, to fall in love. If whoever this person is that's been hanging around stuck finally takes that leap of faith and makes that offer. So, it looks to me that like there could this is a, this is a, somebody is taking action and sending out a message of love 
to somebody that is very hurt and guarded. Okay, somebody that is very hurt and guarded. Perhaps this person is finding the courage to face their own fears about this woman who is probably, you know, she's been burnt. She has been burnt. She's been burnt pretty badly. So we do have a new offer coming in from somebody that is, is It's a beautiful offer, it is. It's a, it is. It's a beautiful offer. It's with somebody that really wants to put in effort to make something work. But somebody doesn't trust to the point where it's going to, this man is going to have to really not give up. He's going to have to find the courage to you know, do what he's got to do and, and be her backbone. Her protector. So I feel like there is somebody that is going to rush in quickly, pretty quickly. They're going to find the courage to do so. After they haven't communicated for quite some time. There's been a lack of communication here. This person was going through a period of enlightenment. They needed to go through that because they had some fears of their own. Their fear, fears of partnership. you got to look at the twos. They're about partnership. It's fear, fears of commitment. Okay? They were, they, you know, I'm scared of that shit. I don't, not, I don't know if I want to commit. But now I think they've come to their senses, per se, and, you know, I am going to have to face this fear because I do want a commitment. I do want a commitment. I do want this love. This is who I love. And it feels like somebody is going to go after what they want and face their fears and face this opposition with whoever this woman is who has been hurt very, very, very badly. This woman has been hurt and she is not you know, gonna just give her heart away easily. She's not. You're gonna have to earn it. Trust is earned, especially after it's been lost. And some trust has been lost here. Anyway, I feel like we have a man that had detached from a situation. He withdrew, he didn't communicate. He held back communication for quite some time and, you know, this woman was at a complete loss. Complete loss. Lost herself in the process. But, when you have a loss of self, like this hangman, you always come back brighter and better than you were before. It's a blessing in disguise, right? It is. So... There is an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. Somebody is is coming in to like it's almost like a hero, Superman. It's like Superman is arriving to save you. <laughs> you know, coming in to fulfill your wishes. Somebody has made the decision to come in, and it's gonna and it's gonna make you really really happy. So this is what I have for today. There's an opportunity for a new love connection. Because somebody is facing their fears. Of commitment. So be prepared if this reading is for you to receive some sort of message. And it's what you've been wishing for. You've been wishing for this. You've been wishing for this. Superman or hero or whoever this is to arrive. Here he comes. Somebody is coming to help you heal. Somebody is coming. This is a card of heal to help you heal. Heal from all the hurt.
let's get a couple or one or two or let's get one of these. Let's get one of these. There's definitely love. There's definitely love. I love you. I love you. That's what this is. I love you. I love you. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I'm sorry I hurt you. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And there is definitely some romantic feelings. Oh, yes. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And that's what it's going to take to heal this relationship. Honest communication. And there hasn't been. There's been no communication or lack of communication but it looks like communication is going to be coming in. And there may be some sore spots. But there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment, happiness. There is. But somebody's going to have to face their fears. Make that decision. To go after what they really want. With love, if you think about it, I keep seeing these, these three, three queens reversed. It's about the going through the good and the bad and not giving up when it gets bad. Right? When the going gets rough, you don't run. <laughs> you stay. I don't know where that's coming from. Anyway, you know, I just, for some reason, this is what this is. It's like, you know you love me. And they know they love you. And all they really needed to do was talk about it. It's all about communication here. Anyway, there's there's a opportunity for a reunion. If somebody decides to take a risk, that's what I see. 